Global navigation satellite systems and global positioning systems have become integrated into everything that we use in our daily lives. Everything from cars to cell phones to pet trackers, even to drones. But what's super interesting is that GPS systems wouldn't be possible without Einstein's work in general relativity. What's even more interesting though is that Einstein's work could have been for naught had it not been for a total solar eclipse that happened 98 years ago in 1919. Einstein's theorized that mass does not simply generate a gravity force, but rather that it warps his theoretical fabric that he called space-time, much like how a weight would warp stretchy fabric laid flat. In Einstein's mind, what we interpret as gravity here on Earth was just the warping of his space-time. But there was really no good way for him to prove it at all. Einstein was only able to theoretically derive field equations to estimate these warping magnitudes caused by specific amounts of mass, like the Sun. It was actually Sir Frank Watson Dyson who conceived an experiment that would actually test if space-time existed and how mass influences space-time. Einstein theorized that as light from a star passes by the sun, its light would be bent enough that we on Earth would actually see the stars right behind the sun in a different place than where they actually were. But Einstein could never take a picture of the stars behind the sun because it's impossible to capture the underwhelmingly dull starlight directly behind the sun. Unless, as Sir Frank Watson Dyson proposed, it was during a total solar eclipse. It wasn't until May 29, 1919, during a total solar eclipse, that this could be done. The eclipse spanned from Africa to Brazil and was just long enough that Sir Frank Watson Dyson and Sir Arthur Eddington spearheaded two twin expeditions to get the proof that they needed. The expeditions were sent to Sobral, Brazil and the African island of Principe, where over a dozen photographs would be taken of the total solar eclipse. These photographs would eventually be used to confirm Einstein's theory of general relativity and his accurate predictions of space-time. The eclipse looked nearly identical to the upcoming Great American Total Solar Eclipse. This phenomenon proved the existence of a fabric that Einstein called space-time and that large masses affect this space-time, ultimately meaning that in our physical day-to-day -day world, gravity actually affects time directly. So, since Einstein theory has been proven, science has told us time and time again that general relativity is inherently all around us. In fact, if you come here to Boulder, Colorado, scientists behind me at the National Institute of Standards and Technology have gone as far to prove that if you stand above your friend by 33 centimeters for 79 years, you will actually age faster than them by 90 billionths of a second. However, Einstein didn't have access to two twin synchronous aluminum clocks that he could manipulate. He only had access to the total solar eclipse, which proved his theory just the same. What this means is that clocks actually beat at different paces when exposed to different gravitational fields. Since GPS satellites fly at an altitude of about 20,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, their clocks would actually beat faster than clocks here on Earth. So, in 1977, when scientists were developing GPS satellite technology, they actually designed the onboard cesium clocks to beat 38 millionths of a second slower than clocks here on Earth so that their timestamps would match. If they hadn't have made this tiny time adjustment, GPS as a whole technology would be inaccurate by miles and eventually it wouldn't even work. But, since they did this, GPS modules inside my cell phone will tell me within a few centimeters of accuracy where I am at all times on the entire planet. Modern GPS technology may never have even existed if it wasn't for Einstein and Sir Frank Watson Dyson's work. General relativity has enabled us all to use GPS technology and without it, it may never have even been possible.